Hello and welcome, this is Mouse Gunner, and a game that I had been a big fan of in its early development has finally launched. It's Kerbal Space Program. It was one of the first major early access games to really get a, a big spotlight, and it took quite a lot of development to get to this point, <laughs> but we're finally here. It is finally launched. Now, it's been quite a while since I've played it, honestly. I got into the game very early in its development, and I kind of reached a point where I, I, I don't want to say I burned out on it, but I kind of burned out on it. And I just wanted to see, you know, the thing develop a little bit further before I got back into it. So here we are. Now, there's a lot of modes that have been in existence for a while that are honestly kind of new to me, and that is the career mode. Uh, when I was playing the game, there was no career mode, and I think they were just starting to implement it when I started to stop playing it. So uh, it's been quite a while. Now, I've done a video on Kerbal Space Program on my channel before, very early on in my channel when I was trying to figure out what it was that I was going to be covering. Unfortunately, it didn't do too well. I don't think it really got any views. Uh, but it's a game I really enjoy and I really like, so I do want to bring you guys this video, especially seeing how it has just launched very recently. Okay, so I opened up a new career mode, and we're starting on medium at the beginning. Now, I must admit, I'm very rusty with Kerbal Spray's program, and I haven't played it at all since, I don't know how long it's been, but it's probably been, oh geez, at least six months, if not longer, since I played this game. So... I've kind of done a little bit of looking around, and it looks like what we want to do, first thing is click on our mission okay. control. And we have a number number of things in the mission control that we can select. First one being okay. launch our first vessel. Well, that seems like a pretty easy uh, thing to do. Uh, I've played this game uh, on multiple occasions in the past, and I'm pretty certain I can pass this pretty easily. Now it looks like we have our currency up here, which looks kind of like a square root sign or or what have you. Uh, and it looks like we've got 25,000 whatever these are. And we have zero science, which is how we do research. So uh, selecting this mission gives us 2,000, a little over 2,000 up front, 5,000 on completion. If we fail, we lose 2,000. And it looks like we also get a science, and I think this is reputation, which I don't think we have any at the moment. Um, so this is a pretty easy mission to, to do, so let's go ahead and uh, accept that. Now I'm curious, can we accept more than one contract? It sure looks like we, we can. So another contract we have is Escape the Atmosphere. Well, that's another thing that's not all that hard to do. Uh, we need... Uh, we get an advance of 18,000 on completion, we get 49,000, and we get 8 science and 19 reputation. That's a good one. And also, uh, collecting science around Kerbin is a pretty easy one to do. Now, I don't know if it's uh, recover or transmit any science experiment data from Kerbin to achieve this goal. Um, so that's a really easy one to do. Essentially, you can even do that on the launch pad, from what I remember. So these are all three missions we can do with, with our very first launch. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to accept all three of these. And that's going to give us a bunch of... Oh, okay, apparently we can only have two active at once. So we'll worry about gather science data from Kerbin later. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go back. Now, the next thing we want to do... I already looked around a little bit. We have an administrative building. That's new to me. From what I can see, there's not a whole lot I can do at the moment. These are essentially decisions you can make, like bailout grant. You can get a bunch of money, but as a consequence, you lose a bunch of re uh, reputation. And the way it says in the description is you're essentially going to do that uh, to avoid bankruptcy. Uh, research rights sell out. Essentially, you can sell whatever science you have and turn it into money. We don't have any research, so we can't really do that, even though it says we can. Although, I guess we could give it a certain percentage. It, it, uh, it looks like we have a slider here. And we have a bunch of other things that we could do, but at the moment we are uh, lacking some kind of requirement to do them. So we'll just ignore administration, administration building for now. Another thing we've got is the astronaut complex, and we have a number of astronauts to start off. Uh, and I'm not really going to hire anyone else, because it costs quite a lot of money to hire somebody, and also, I already have four pilots. I don't really see a need to hire any more. 
Okay, so uh, we also have this where we can look at what's going on in our solar system. Uh, but, you know, we don't have a mission running right now. So the most thing, first thing we really want to do is we'd want to jump in our vehicle assembly building. And we're not going to have a whole lot to build with at the moment. Um, but what we do have should do the missions we uh, need to do, which is just launch into uh, the out of the atmosphere and launch something that goes off the ground, essentially, are the two missions that we're trying to do here. Uh, the only thing is, I don't think we have... Uh, okay, we do have a parachute, so that's good. Uh, that, will, that will help us survive. Okay, so... We... Mystery goo is used for science. I don't want to do that yet because we don't have a contract for it yet. So, in my opinion, there's no real uh, purpose in doing that. We do have a solid fuel booster. It doesn't look like we have any other kinds of uh, way of propelling our craft at the moment. Uh, I'm hoping this isn't going to cause us to instantly fail our initial mission because uh, we might not get out into orbit. I mean, not orbit, uh, in the atmosphere. And because we don't have any other means of, for instance, structure, well, we could put more than one booster on here. I'm curious to see if this will even leave our uh, atmosphere as it is. But we have a parachute. That's going to be useful. Uh, we want to have more than one stage. Let's get our solid fuel booster here. Um, what I'm thinking here, uh, to kind of maximize our chance of getting out of the atmosphere, let's go ahead and we want... Let's try four. I'm going to do four solid boosters off of this one booster. And the reason I'm not putting them... Uh, I actually don't remember how to rotate things. Oh, there we go. Get that around. Get these down pretty far so they're kind of similar. All right, there we go. And that we're going to make a same stage as this. So we've got five boosters going at once. And hopefully this will get us out into space. And just as a precaution here, we'll stick on some more parachutes. And those will all be together. So. Our first stage is going to be our boosters, then our last stage is going to be our parachutes. And this hopefully will allow our Kerbin to survive. So let's go ahead and choose a crew. We're going to choose Jebediah Kerman. Uh, I don't know if it goes over the stats here at the moment. Um, but he's a pilot, uh, so that's a, good, that's a good choice. You always have Jebediah. He's always your default. Okay, so I think we can go to launching it. Now, whether or not this will actually work, who knows? And another thing I'm not sure if I remember how to do is setting up the uh, the uh, SAS, which is kind of your, like, your stabilizer. Uh, honestly, a lot of things have, have changed uh, since uh, last I played this game. Uh, over here are different. Let's go ahead and grab up our fuel so we know when it runs out. Let's go ahead and launch our first mission. Wow, look at that acceleration. <laughs> Alright, I didn't think we would make it up into the at out of the atmosphere, and I really hope that this doesn't cause us to fail that one mission. But it definitely, we got off the ground, which is going to succeed the one contract. I'm thinking there was a, d a time limit on it, though, so... While we're here, why don't we right-click here, and well, we could do a crew report for science, but the only problem is there's a contract for that, too, and I, I want to make sure I, uh, I don't, well, you might as well open the parachutes. There's no reason why not to. So this is our first real uh, easy mission. Not many things involved with this, but this is essentially how your campaign mode is going to go. You start simple, and you go from there. If you guys really do enjoy uh, this uh, look at the career mode, I'll continue it and do a video series on it. I kind of have an opening in my slot. Uh, my 
daily slots uh, so I could uh, add this on the series that I cover I do quite like this game and it would be really nice to get back into things but let's go ahead and speed things up if I remember how to do that uh, which I don't uh, was it this there we go like, I, I honestly have not played this in a long time, and I'm literally, this is the first time I've played it in a long time, so to remember all the controls, I'm surprised actually how well I remember this, but we're just essentially floating back down. You see our dis our uh, our distance here. We're actually uh, going down pretty slow. I wonder if it's because we opened our parachutes. That's slowing us down a little bit, so let's speed it up quite a lot. Eventually we'll get down low enough that our parachutes will open fully and we'll really float down really slow. Uh, but there's our, our 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 launch pad down there, so we didn't travel all that far away from it. Okay, so now that we're getting close to the ground, I'm going to slow down a little bit so we can see the parachute open. Probably about 500 meters it will open. A nice slow descent. The solid, uh, the solid fuel boosters are, are pretty simple. All right, there goes the parachutes, and now we'll really float down real slow. So I might as well speed this thing all the way back up. Now, hopefully we don't explode on impact in, in previous versions of the game. Uh, when you float it down, even at a low speed, you might cause the fuel tanks to explode. But I put a lot of parachutes on this thing to try and really slow it down so that didn't happen. Uh, because I'd like uh, Jebediah not to die. <laughs> Here we go. Very slow and steady. I slowed it back down to real time. Don't blow up, don't blow up, don't blow up. Okay. Phew. Okay. So essentially, now that he's landed, I think if I remember how this works, you can uh, um, go back to the space center. And we go here to our tracking station. And we have our untitled spacecraft. And we go ahead and recover that because it's already down on the ground. Are you sure you want to recover this vessel? We say recover. And we got uh, five science just for doing the mission. So a total of six science because I'm assuming it uh, completed that uh, contract. Although it doesn't say that we completed it. Uh, looks like we recovered all of our parts, so we gained back some of our funds there. And which they total it right here, so 4,110 funds. So you want to make sure you have things get recovered. And our crew, he got back and he gained a little bit of experience. So total reputation we gained was 12, and we gained 6 science. So we're going to go ahead and do things with our science. Oh, I guess you have to hit next, next, done. Okay, and let's go ahead and go back, and we can go back to our mission control. And almost no time has, has passed. We've only got 12 minutes of day one, so no time at all has passed. Uh, where's our mission control? There it is. Okay, so uh, active. All right, so we set an app. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. right. I thought we had one where it just, uh, it's archives. Launch our first vessel. So we completed that. It seems like some of these other ones are just, mm -hmm. you know, milestone mm -hmm. stuff that you get that you don't, it's not an actual contract. So we have a couple other ones that are active. So set an altitude record of 11.5 kilometers. Set a distance record of 5,000 meters. Escape the atmosphere and set speed record of 750 meters per second. Um, so those are all things that we can pass, and we get some money and some reputation. But the main one we want to do is escape the atmosphere, but we want to have more spaceship parts to be able to really do that. And now that we uh, have this, uh... oh, it's not letting me do that one that one uh, mission now. That one mission where we uh, did science uh, doesn't let us do now. So that was kind of unfortunate that we uh, did that. I don't want to pick orbit carbon yet. <laughs> Because uh, that is going to be a much harder mission to uh, succeed at. Um, but in any case, uh, let's go ahead and go to our science building.
This is our research and development and spelling our science. And I'm probably going to end the video here. And if you guys, as I said, are really interested in seeing more uh, Kerbal Space Program from me on my channel, uh, if I get a, a number of views on this, I will continue uh, with the series and continue to do the career mode. So we've got basic rocketry, and that only costs five science. And that's going to have uh, an engine and some fuel tanks, and uh, it looks like a bigger solid fuel booster. Or our other option for five science, we get a different cockpit, we get uh, some science things and uh, a radio antenna, and a stack decoupler. Now we really want that stack decoupler because it's going to really help us uh, get um, it's going to really help us get into the orbit. Uh, but I think for our next mission, what we want is these things so we can do a little bit more with our spacecraft. So I'm going to do research on uh, basic rock, rocketry instead. And essentially, you have six science, cost five science. Just click there, you get it, and then you can go through the tree uh, as you uh, get more and more science and unlock things. Now, obviously, things are going to get more expensive as you go on. Uh, but once we get this one here, uh, Engineering 101, we will have a lot of the basics to do uh, a lot of the missions that we can do, uh, which will really help. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, look at Kerbal Space Program, and I hope you guys are really happy to see this thing uh, finally uh, released in its full version. In any case, this is Mouse Gunner, signing out.